Hello, hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. Thank you for clicking and spending time with me. As you can see, we are starting off with a slow morning with lighting a fall candle, making pumpkin spice latte while eating breakfast and planning for the upcoming week. In today's video, we have quite a bit to get done. We're running errands, doing a mini reset for the week and cooking a chicken and sausage gumbo with homemade cornbread. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on your bell notifications. Each piece of my heart Lovers have come And lovers have gone But you still feel like right When the whole world feels wrong They say history repeats itself I am a list girl I have to have everything on a list So if you're like me Go ahead and make your list with me for the week some of the errands that we have to run, we have to go and get a wax appointment, go to Sephora to pick up two products. We have to go and get some lunch. I have to do an Amazon return at Staples. We got to go to Bath and Body Works, go to Aldi. And I think that, oh, and Target. So yeah, if you have a list of some things that you have to get done today, let's go ahead, jot it down so we can check it off and let's get this week started. Range and transpose, but it's always the same. I'm attracted to every way. Your mind and your body could ever change. We fly and we fall, but we don't fall apart. Break after break, each piece. at my kitchen and got some got a whiting dinner with some whiting french fries and hush puppies back there Okay, y'all, so we're at Bath and Body Works now, and within the past few weeks, I've had a couple people in my real everyday life ask me, what scents do I use in my home for September without burning full-on fall scents? So I decided to share with you guys as well if you're wondering the same thing. But in my opinion, these are the good ones. So we have apricot and green fig. We also have autumn chai, which is a really good one. Raspberry mimosa is kind of sweet, but it's a really good one. Autumn Woods is good. Sweater Weather is good too. Um, flannel is a good one. I like that one for the boys. Harvest Gathering is another one. Oh, excuse me. Then we have Fall Fresh Morning. And then we also have the Spice Blackberry Cider as well as the Cranberry Orange Seltzer. I really, really like this one. It smells amazing. And then for the Wallflower Refills, we have Honey Apple Crisp. We also have champagne, apple, and honey. Then coming up next, we have midnight cocktails as well as cozy Sunday night. I also like sunrise woods, pumpkin spice latte, and harvest pomegranate are all good as well. And just so you know, wallflower refills are on sale for $2.95 today, real time, September 17th, until 6 a.m. tomorrow, September 18th. So now will be a good time to stock up. I got the goods. You just gotta trust the right. You don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to. I'm recording, just so you know. Okay. Okay. I got my clothes on. Do you know you're gonna do that pumpkin bowl? 
Yes, you heard me. I was asking them if they had the pumpkin cold foam. One of the reasons I love this time of the year is for all of the pumpkin spice foods. Give me all the pumpkin foods, okay? But don't give me no pumpkin pie. <laughs> you can keep that. <laughs> all right, thank you guys. So these are some of the items that I picked up today. So starting over here, I picked up these um, pumpkin spice coated caramels. I'm not a fan of these, but I think the kids like them. So these are, what are these? Sour orange gummy pumpkins, some uh, pumpkin spice marshmallows. These items came from Target. This came from Aldi's, the Belgian chocolate apples, as well as the pumpkins. I got the pumpkins last year for Wal from Walmart. But when I saw they had them in Aldi's, I just picked them up since I was already there. I also saw Aldi's had this limited autumn edition, pumpkin spice flavored, um, almond maple, caramel apple, as well as fall berries. So I'll use these like in a charcuterie board for myself when I'm having some me time. These are from Target as well, the pumpkin spice graham crackers. We got these last year. They were a hit with Lauren for her fall lunchbox, um, her fall lunch uh, during the fall time. Some sparkling fresh apple cider from Aldi. Some pumpkin spice Cheerios. These are good. These came from Target. These are from Aldi. Some pumpkin spice applesauce. I got two of them, so we'll see how these taste. If these aren't a good hit, um, if these aren't a hit with Lauren, we'll just stick to the cinnamon. We usually get cinnamon around the fall time. Some I've never seen this. I got this from Target. Some pumpkin spice um, latte ice espresso. So that'll be for when I make my hot drinks or my cold drinks, either one. Uh, these are I got more of these candies because, as you can see, that container is empty. So I got more pumpkin spice. I got two of each: pumpkin spice caramel coffee, which surprisingly is my favorite. I absolutely love, love, love this flavor. Got some more caramel apple, and then the maple cream is number two. Like, I love it. Pumpkin spice is good, too, and so is the caramel apple, but I really, really enjoy the caramel coffee and the maple cream. I also picked up from Aldi some pumpkin slice loaf cake. I haven't tried it yet. Zachary has. Um, he didn't say he didn't like it, so, but... We got these from Aldi. All right, then when I went to Bath and Body Works, I had a pickup order, then I ended up getting um, some fresh balsam um, wallflower refills because these sell, sell out fast at the store that I go to. So I wanted to go ahead and get some, and I think I have like one or two left over from last year, but I absolutely love the fresh balsam scent from Bath and Body Works. I also got some of these, so White Pumpkin Frozen Lake Orange cran um, Cranberry Orange Seltzer. Sunrise Woods, Mountain Teak Wood, Flannel. The Mountain Teak Wood and the Flannel are for the boys' bathroom. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, Frosted Cranberry, Cozy Sunday, and Cranberry Woods. These two, the Cranberry Woods and the Frosted Cranberry, I like to put those in my bathroom after Christmas. So like between Christmas, well, not really between Christmas, but like when January hits, I like to put those in my bathroom. And then the candles, I got, um, what is this? The Perfect Autumn, I love this. It has fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, rich clove. It is like fall, like smells like true fall, what I believe fall up north would be like. So it smells really good. Harvest Gathering is also a good one. This one has fresh picked apple, autumn berries, and clove buds. And then this is White Pumpkin. This has gingered white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blend spices. I also have leaves and sweater weather. I'm burning sweater sweater weather right now. And then from Sephora, I picked up some more Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, as well as a um, roller, a ball roller of um, Madagascar Vanilla. I absolutely love this scent during the fall time. From Ross, I picked up um, another thermos container for Lauren. It won't be used this year because she already has five, but this will be for next year. She loves kittens or cats, so when I saw it, I had to get it, but we'll save it for fourth grade. And then out of Marshall's, this was, I think, $5.99. I got this Hello Pumpkin um, mug. It'll be Lauren and I share this one, but it's really cute. And then... I'll show you these. From Ross, I got these like metallic pink boots. 
They were $20. I saw very, very, very similar boots on H&M's website for 40 But when I saw Ross had them for 20 I got these. And then the sole has some glitter on it. So absolutely love those. She loves those. So either she'll wear them with this dress or she'll wear her metallic vans because this dress will be for picture day that's coming up soon. But it's really cute on her. And then we also got this from Target, this happy camper shirt with these heart leopard um, tights. So that's all that we pretty much got from the stores today. All right, y'all, I didn't have too much to reset because I had just cleaned um, my house this weekend, like the weekend that you actually see me, um, like I'm filming. I had just cleaned my house. It was my cleaning weekend. I did just want to fold the blankets because the night before we watched The Little Mermaid, it is now on Disney+. Plus. We'll also switch out Lauren's backpack and lunch back, um, lunchbox, iron her clothes for the week, and then head into the kitchen to cook dinner. I did cook on a different day, so that's why you'll see me in different clothes. Feel no good, not living life like I know. Which uh, book bag do you want? No, um, this one? Yeah. Right. Where's your lunchbox? Which lunchbox was it? It was the gray shimmery. I think it's in the pink one. Oh, yeah. Pencil go in a small pouch, not the big pocket. The small pocket, the pencil. You had it in the big pocket. Alright, go get me your lunchbox so I can put it in the wash. I, 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 I. You need more hand sanitizer. I, Holder. I'll wash this too. Yes. Do we have a fall? We have a fall holder, right? I thought we had a fall holder. Yeah, you had like a little fall. Oh, there it is. Your owl. It's like I know you had a. Your owl. Oh, I forgot about that. And then I gave you marshmallow treat. Mm -hmm. All right, bring me your um. The, the book bag that we got earlier. I'll put this stuff in there. It's midnight, oh, I'm thinking about it. We'll pick out her school clothes together then I'll iron them and put them on the dresser this works really well for us if you're currently not doing this I highly suggest that you do to help the mornings be a bit more smoother all right school clothes are ironed and ready to go Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday all right y'all so I took her stuff out the washer so I'll let that air dry I'll leave her lunchbox open so it can air dry and then I hung up her backpack and left all the pockets open so it can air dry and then I'll go ahead and put it in her closet when everything dries. All right, y'all, we're in the kitchen making chicken and sausage gumbo. So to start, we're going to season the chicken with garlic, salt, thyme, and black pepper, then toss the chicken to make sure all the pieces are evenly coated. I am so excited. Like I was so excited when I saw this recipe because I've never had gumbo before. Then we're going to add the oil to the pan. While the oil is heating up, I'm going to um, get a stock pot. I bought these when I first moved in about four years ago and have never used them.
y'all i haven't fried chicken in so long we use the air fryer now so i was getting pops left and right i'm just going to uh brown the chicken and then i'll put it aside then we'll go ahead and cut up some beef sausage brown that as well and then put that um to the side too I was telling y'all I was excited about this recipe because I've never had gumbo before because from what I knew gumbo was either seafood or pork so when I received this email from cousin Rosie I'm on her email list I was so excited and let me tell you this gumbo is bomb okay so good and will definitely be a part of your fall winter recipe rotation <music> I cooked the veggies until they were translu translucent and tender. I'm going to add six cups of chicken broth, then let it cook for 45 minutes. While it's cooking, I'm going to make the roux using the leftover oil from when I fried the chicken and then add some flour. It's too bad you'll never know. Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel because she has someone who makes her happy. I'm a ghost in these walls. Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same Okay, can y'all see that better now? Alright It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try so I messed this part up. I was supposed to cook the chicken and all the other ingredients for 45 minutes. And then after at the roux, Woo! I'm gonna have to mop. <laughs> Clearly that did not happen, okay? I didn't wait the 45 minutes to add the roux. I added it in at about 10 to 15 minutes. I did let it cook for the full hour and five minutes, probably a little longer, but it still came out very, very good. And when it was almost done, I just added some okra. Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that I've preheated the oven to make the cornbread. I put it on 350. I added baking powder, salt, yellow cornmeal, flour, and sugar to a bowl. Usually I whisk it, but the whisk was dirty, so I just used a measuring spoon to mix. Just one look and I'd get caught too Cause there's something about you And you My phone did start recording so I had to delete some old footage before I could continue But the wet ingredients I added were oil, milk, honey, melted butter and eggs I didn't have any fall cupcake liner so I used some Valentine's ones and that is okay <laughs>
I put the cornbread in the oven for about 12 minutes. I'll leave this recipe below as well. The recipe does call for two thirds cup of sugar, but I use one cup of sugar. The gumbo is almost done, just gonna give it a good stir. I'm going to take the cornbread out of the oven, butter them up, and then I'll go ahead and make some rice. made it to the end thank you for clicking and spending time with me today i hope you were able to get some motivation to tackle your list and get some things done please give this video a thumbs up comment share subscribe and turn on your bell notifications did y'all see that the chicken is falling off the bone don't forget to check out the recipes down below and i'll see you next week bye but if only you could see